Hey y'all, I have been watching these um, chrysalis and look, I missed it. I haven't had any um, hatch yet, but look at there. I've got two and then there's, let me see if you can see that one back there, right there. And um, I'm so excited. I was kind of worried because we're getting down like in the low 40s. Um, look at open it. I'm trying to see if it's a boy or a girl. But like some of my first ones, like this one right there, and this one all the way over here. Can you? I don't know if you can see that. There y'all go. Sorry about that. Um, they started turning dark because you can see these guys here are turning dark. And this is one of the last ones here. So they're still kind of green. Um, but they just went to black and it hasn't opened yet. I mean, that was like almost, uh, gosh, three weeks ago. So I don't know what happened. It's just crazy. Um, I'm trying to see what it is. Um, I'm kind of stretching the wings. Can't tell if it's a little girl or not. Um, yeah, it's just crazy on, um, I have one down here. Um, I don't know if you can see it right there and it's like black. It went black, but there's two hanging one way in the back there. I know it's so hard to focus because it focuses on the netting and I don't want to open it yet, but there's, um, let's see, right there is a green one and then below it is a black one. You can see kind of the shading right there. And that's changing. So I'm kind of hoping maybe those, but I don't know. It's just been a weird, I've never had, um, my last time I hatched chrysalis, monarch caterpillars into chrysalis, I had 72 and um, 69 hatched. So I don't know, but I'm gonna let the, these three here, um, get their wings a go in and then I will release them. Uh, hopefully I can film that. I'm only here by myself, so I don't know, we'll see. But we've got three, I'm so excited. Well, and just like the hour that passed, I have number four is hatched, come out of its chrysalis. But this little guy, they all look like boys. Let me see if I can get you to get them to turn around for me. You can see there's no spot on the back um, bottom leaves. There's usually like a spot in the line. Um, and these are solid lines, so that's a male. Come on, buddy, open up. So I am just gonna put him, can you see that? He keeps his, it's like, I don't wanna show you. Um, so they're solid. And if I get a female, I'll be able to show you the difference. But usually from the middle back, like two lines over, there's like a, a dot kind of in the line that make, de designates it as a female. So I know these are not um, decent flower form. They're just mums. But this one's about ready to roll. So I'm going to just put him right down here and see if he'll just hang for a little bit. There we go. Good job, buddy. Let me see if I can get the other ones out. Third guy. He's a little stinker. He did not want me to help him get out. I had to actually, so they must do something where it, it was like so many of them um, hung there. So I, what I did, and he kept walking that way over on that side. So what I did was rotate this so it was kind of facing um, northeast. So, I don't know, but it got him out. And I carefully unzipped. Yeah, I think this one's not any good. It looks like it has something dripping. This was one of the first ones, so I think that's not good. I can see here. Um, see some of the lines? The orange and the black. All right, this one, which is number four, this one on this plant, it's opening nice and well. Do y'all see those dots? That is the female. So if you remember, it's a solid line for the male. 
and the dots indicate a female. So, so far we have three, fe uh, three males and one female. So here she is, the little girl. She's climbing up my arm. She didn't want to go on the flowers, but that's a good shot of the two black dots that indicate that that's a female.